So y'all know we have to come and talk about this because I just couldn't hold out. So apparently Tamar Braxton invited Krishan Rock to her show Love at War because they both from Baltimore. Some people view Tamar as classy, but we know. We know Tamar likes to get down, okay? We know she likes to show her ass, literally. So not too much on the judgment part. So apparently Krishan was invited, but she was overstepping her boundaries because she was drunk and she was feeling like she was more famous than what she was. So she came on stage, bullied her way on stage, apparently drunk with Tamar. Tamar's show must go on, so she still performed. Krishan looking like a dummy over there dancing and stuff with the mic in her hand. And she ended up not performing and she thought she was going to perform. I don't know. The whole it's a vibe all the time or fuck blue face with Tamar songs don't make sense to me. But she thought she was going to perform. And she got an altercation with him. We're going to let this man tell the story. Whoever want to get mad at me can get mad at me. Y'all got to stop. First of all, let me tell you about this ghetto, disgusting gutter butt. I don't even want to call her a girl. First of all, she's trash. She should have never been at my show. So, she come to Tamar concert, which I planned, and I will say that, um, drunk with a thousand people, smelling like weed, looking dumb, okay? And so, she, apparently, she makes music. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? I'm upset because she didn't get to perform. So, again, y'all saw her show her dumb ass during Love and War. She ruined the song. She ruined the concert. She ruined the moment. So then she go backstage and she is upset, okay? Because she didn't get to perform her ringtone. So she storms in Tamar's dressing room with a thousand people, okay? And everybody's like, nobody knew you were supposed to perform a song. We didn't even know that you made music. We thought you was on Zeus, right? So everybody's trying to calm her down. She's in there, rah, rah, like a dungeon dragon, right? So then James is like, oh, it wasn't on purpose. Like nobody tried to like... Shade you, we, we didn't know that you were supposed to sing. She like, lie again. Lie again. And James like, no, nobody knew. And she hit James right in his face. Child, Tamar ain't been saying nothing. She don't want no problems with Krishan. And James really ain't been saying nothing either, but putting church music and God is on his page and went live and said a whole bunch of nothing. If he is going to sue, that's probably why he not talking. But they know to just leave Krishan alone.